what's cracking like man? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this one's gonna be a little bit different though. Um, slightly because we're not gonna watch a YouTube video this time, and you're not gonna watch me watch the YouTube video this time. Um, and I can see you're already crying. Stop crying. Everything's gonna be fine, I promise. So today we're doing something even cooler, even swagger, even fresher. We're gonna look at my super nice shoe collection. Wow, very pristine, I know. I'm proud to say that not a single pair is fake, actually, because about seven pairs are, let's be honest. And uh, I'm gonna go through them all. Um, I actually have eight pairs to show you, but seven of them are fake. Um, so yeah, let's just let's just hop. Let's just hop, hit, wait, let's just hippity hop, okay? Let's just do it, okay? You seeing this? This movement, this hype? So I'll be giving you guys a score out of 45,000. I'll give you guys an estimated price point because I really don't know for the fake shoes. It's kind of complicated to tell exactly how much they were. So yeah, let's just hippity hop into it. The first shoe is the Jordan 1 University Blue. This shoe is the first shoe that I saw and I was like, wow, shoes are pretty cool. And I became a sneaker person because of this shoe, really. The only real shoe I have is a New Balance one, uh, but this one is fake. Um, the quality of it is super nice, super pristine, the smells. Mmm, crispy as ever. I mean, it's just an all-around beautiful shoe. I'd probably give this shoe a 43000 out of 45000 And I got this for about $55 at the end of the day, so. The next shoe is this uh, Jordan 1 Mocha. Uh, quite similar to the last one. This one's just a different colorway. Um, I love this shoe as well because it's, it's more neutral. It goes with a bunch of different things. Um, I can wear it with basically anything. I haven't worn it recently, but I probably should. Um, I'd probably give this one maybe a forty out of 45000 I love the other one so very much. It's one of my favorite shoes I've ever owned. Yeah, this one's also same quality, same materials even better smell um you know it's just all around it's just all around beautiful i got this for about 55 dollars as well both of these shoes were actually the first pairs of fake shoes that i got and they they're really the ones that started the addiction the next shoe is the yeezy 350 boost i don't know which one this is because there's like 90 million colorways i don't care to keep up with that um i only bought this because of kanye and i mean kanye has a special place in my heart so i mean i just gotta i had to do it for him i got this for about uh 35 dollars and uh, i'd probably give it maybe a 35,000 out of 45,000. only reason it's so low is because i got a half size too small um but you know kanye probably really appreciates me for this purchase i would assume so you know i, I think all in all that's pretty good. Hey, that's pretty good. The next shoe is the Nike Dunk Low Syracuse. Um, this shoe is, again, one of my favorite shoes. I, a lot of the shoes that I have are like one of my favorite shoes because I mean, I, I went out of my way to get them fake. They're, they're important to me. I love the orange on this shoe. I actually have an orange hoodie that I wore with it a couple days ago. Yeah, the quality on the shoe is super nice. The only weird thing about these shoes is that the toe box on both of them are actually a little bit different. I'm sure you can see that. It's kind of annoying, but it doesn't really matter. I give this shoe probably a 42,000 out of 45,000. And I got it for about $45 to $50 around there. All in all, a great shoe. I mean, you can't really go wrong with a shoe with 50 bucks, you know what I'm talking about? So, the next ones are the Chunky Donkey Flunky Wonky Hunkies. The, uh, who made this? Who's responsible? Because this is amazing. It's it's a Ben and Jerry's collaboration with Nike, and it's got like the cow fur as like the material here. I don't even know what 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 even. I mean, I don't know how they make that fake, but I mean, it's it's a very nice shoe. It's got a bunch of colors all over the place. I love wearing the shoe. It's a little bit difficult to wear with things because of the colors. But um, I'd probably give this shoe a 43000 out of 45000 I love it that much. It can just sit on my rack for the rest of my life, and I'd still love it that much. It's just like an iconic shoe to me. But yeah, I got it for about $45, $50 around there as well. The next shoe is the Nike, what the cush? No. The next shoe is the New Balance 550. This shoe is the dad of all shoes. I love this shoe with all of my heart. I mean, I wear it so often. It's just so clean. It's just so simple. It's just so fatherly, you know? I mean, I got this in Miami with my girlfriend, Nicole. I don't know if you know Nicole. She's kind of cute. Um, it was about... $120 there for retail. Um, they re These shoes actually resell for a higher price than that. So 120 is actually a steal for this shoe. You might be like, what the heck? That shoe's ugly, but you're just stupid. I love this shoe and the shoe loves you. I mean, you can't really go wrong with this shoe. You really can't. I mean, just look at it. It's just so clean. I'm gonna give this shoe a 44,999 out of 45,000 just because I can't give it the full perfect score because there's one other shoe that I have to give the perfect score to. But this is such a close second, it's crazy. Like, I love this shoe so much, okay? Next, we have the Yeezy Slide um, I, in the pure colorway, actually. Um, I wear these so often, they're so comfortable. They're a little bit of an acquired taste, if I, if I do say so myself, um, but I love them so much. I'd probably give these maybe a 43,900 out of 45,000. I love these so, so, so much. I think Kanye would be proud of my purchase. I got these fake as well. They're probably about $15, 25 after shipping. It's just rubber. That's why I'm not paying resale for this. It's just rubber. But yeah, the next and last shoe, but also not the least. Wait, what? 
Last but not least, absolutely not least, we have the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1 Lowe's. This shoe is my favorite shoe I've ever owned in my entire life. I don't know if it's the, the lace color matching the reverse swoosh, which kind of matches the, the sole here. I don't know what it is, but this shoe is heavenly to me. It's a shoe that I wear as much as I possibly can. This is an easy 45,000 out of 45,000. I got this shoe for about $55 around there. The quality on this shoe is just impeccable. Like, I, there's nothing, I, I can't even find anything wrong. Like, I can find something wrong with this pair because the toe box looks odd, but like on this pair, I feel physically cannot find a single thing wrong. Like on, on this pair, the color's off a little bit. On this pair, the leather is the wrong kind of leather, if that makes sense. But on this pair, everything is so beautiful. I don't even know how to describe it to you. It's just beautiful. I love it so much. People have a bad connotation when it comes to fake shoes. They think the quality is bad, or that it'll fall apart in your foot, or that it's uncomfortable, but none of those things are actually true. Like I've bought seven pairs of fake shoes at this point, and I love all of them. They all feel great. I wear them all as much as I can. I wear the fake shoes more than the real shoes. I could actually make a video for you guys if you want to see how to buy fake shoes. Um, I know you might not want to buy them, but if you want to see how it works or what it is, it's kind of a complicated process. So if you want me to make a video on that, I can do that for you guys. Um, just leave a comment or DM me on Instagram or Twitter or MySpace or find my house. I can give my address. Or if you guys have any suggestions for the reaction videos, if there's a video you want me to react to, I'll do that too. Um, really anything. If you want any kind of video suggestion, I'm open for that. So uh, I love you all. Thank you all for being here. Thank you all for watching the video. Thank you all for liking and subscribing, all those different things. I love every single one of you. Even you, Jack, you look cute today. Have a great day because you all deserve it. Um, I love you all. Bye.